The amount of restraint I needed to have to not purchase a Deuce McBride jersey at 1 o'clock in the morning was immense. 29 points, career high 29 points in 46 minutes in a spot start, 6 of 9 on 3 is really nice, in a massive win over the Golden State Warriors. And before I can start giving even more credit to Deuce, I actually want to give credit to Tom Thibodeau for putting him in the starting lineup because it was announced that OG Ananobi is going to miss this game. So I think a lot of Knicks fans, myself included, thought, okay, he's probably just going to go with Precious Achua because that was the starting lineup that the Knicks have been playing without Precious, sorry, without OG and without Randall. But like immense credit to Tom Thibodeau because one of the criticisms I have is that he's not very flexible. He's not very situational. Like he's going to do what he's going to do whether you're playing this team or that team. But no, he saw, you know, playing the Golden State Warriors, you need a guy who can defend Steph Curry. So let's go with Deuce McBride. And, you know, I like, I don't know how much effect Deuce had on Steph's off night where, yeah, he scored 27, but he only shot eight of 20. But for whatever it's worth, NBA.com's matchup data said that Steph only shot 4 of 13 when guarded by McBride, so clearly it worked to some extent. So again, good on Tom Thibodeau uh, for, for you know, recognizing the situation and adjusting his lineup, adjusting his ways accordingly. But what he couldn't have possibly expected was what he got at the offensive end as well. And that was just like the most unexpected, um, you know, just like added bonus to what was a really great defensive night from Deuce, but then to also get almost 30 points of unexpected production. That was insane. And with Deuce McBride, like, it's it's so funny because since he got drafted, he's always sort of been, you know, he, like, he was buried on the bench for a while. Like, he would get, like, these spot minutes where you would be really impressed with his relentlessness at the defensive end. And, like, he could occasionally shoot three, but he was always just more of, like, a luxury. Just like a, like, he was our third string point guard behind Brunson, behind IQ. So, like, every time he played, you were always kind of impressed and you was kind of like, man, if we could just, like, find more minutes for this guy, because you really like what he brought defensively, like, that would be awesome. And then the Knicks trade Emmanuel quickly, and, and there's, like, a lot of panic. I was certainly nervous about, like, okay, who's going to be our backup point guard? Because nobody can really do what IQ can do as far as entering the game and bringing just, like, a unique kind of spark to the court. Um, and, and so there were a lot of nerves with that. But, like, to see what Deuce has done in that role. It's not necessarily the same as IQ. I don't think he brings that same like infectious energy, but it's like what he's doing as a defender, well also an insanely improved three point shot has just been so remarkable to see and to sort of like have that question of like, what are we gonna do? Who's our backup point guard? He's sort of answering that call. And what's even more impressive about it is that literally, it had to have been like either the day or the day after the next treated IQ, they signed uh, Deuce McBride to like a three year $13 million extension, which just seems like the ultimate bargain deal at this point to get one of the best perimeter defenders in the NBA who's evolving offensively. His shot has looked much better as the season has been going on. To get that at $13 million total over three years, like I kind of feel bad about it. Like I, I understand Deuce probably just like, you know, wanted to take the money, but like I kind of feel bad because I think that's just going to look like more and more of a bargain and it's it's just it's so impressive it's so impressive to to see a guy you know cuz guys sometimes can look good in smaller roles like in in spurts but you always sort of wonder like okay what are they going to do what could they do if they get a bigger role and Deuce has gotten that opportunity and he's just absolutely ran with it so it's just it's a credit to him you know and the work he's put in at both ends and last night I really do want to give a lot of credit to Tibbs I know this is a video as supposed to be focused on Deuce McBride but I really do want to give credit to Tibbs because I think he deserves it for giving McBride that opportunity last night because it was the right call um and and just like also like credit to the Knicks organization because for some reason there's like this narrative that the Knicks don't draft well which I don't really know where that's that's come from like yeah they've obviously drafted kevin knox they obviously drafted frank nilakina i can't argue that but you know who else they drafted mitchell robinson quentin grimes iq um and now deuce mcbride all guys who like like i, I didn't even want to include rj in the list because rj was just like the natural like oh he's obviously gonna go number three but like the knicks found those guys and all of those guys have been you know above average contributors they all look they have really bright futures in the nba and the knicks sort of like discovered them like you get what I'm saying right like they they knew something that every other team didn't and they drafted those guys and it's the same thing with McBride and it's it's just it, it's so awesome to see another one of these awesome you know draft picks turn out it was also really special because last night's game was on national television vision 
So for him to do that in front of, you know, a bigger audience, a audience that now probably knows his name more, big time win, you know, Knicks have won four straight, five on the road, 3-0 now on the West Coast trip, like just, <laughs> man, there's so much to love about this Knicks team.